You're not in control anymore, Percy. I am. You give no meaning to the phrase insult to injury. I have a mole burrowed deep within that agency, waiting to be activated. We never talk about trust and loyalty as a concept in the room. What we talk about is these people who are all trustworthy and loyal, except when they have things put in front of them that make them change the way they are. You want a character to be well-rounded, and that means that it's more than just a girl or, you know, a guy. You write the characters based on the kind of person you think that they are. Uh, Alex is a trustworthy and loyal person. She's loyal to Nikita. She was always loyal to Nikita. However, if there's something bigger that she wants for herself, Nikita! she's willing to betray that loyalty to Nikita to get at what she wants. It was an expected thing. It would have been weird if she didn't. So that's one of those things where you, you know the character and the writers really know their characters. The, the twists come in plot. They don't, the characters are, are, they have very strong personalities. I guess you'd say that in this season, all of the, 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 the bonds between our characters have been tested, even Michael and Nikita, certainly Alex and Nikita, but that ultimately they had these things in common and they came back it's together. Difficult. I think that it got, I think it got uh, a little thick halfway through this season and we realized because sometimes you'll, uh, you need to invent a new character. Every division operative knows the risks. Deniable assets, that is who we are. Well, that's not who I am. I'm going after her. Sean always had his, uh, had a sort of set of beliefs, and it was just, like, he, he's fairly consistent with them. I mean, he is, he's sort of guy who, who believes in the flag and, and America and apple pie, and even when his mother kind of doesn't believe in those principles as much or betrays those principles, he still keeps them. And I think he just, you know, he was put in a situation where division didn't fit that, and when he found the people who did, then he gravitated towards them. So I never felt like he was, uh, like, a bad guy. He's a Navy SEAL. Navy SEALs are good guys, and he's one of the good guys. He rationalized what he was doing at the beginning of the season, going after Nikita, working for Division, just because he had to protect his mother. I mean, the only thing that came for his country was his family. Now it's his country.